Since there is a potential supply of M2 Bradley to Ukraine, the question of how it compares to the Russian BMP-3 arises. Also, considering both are modern IFVs that are recognized for their exceptional levels of protection, firepower, mobility, and passenger capacity, a decent comparison would be worthwhile to know which one will prove to be more effective in the war zone. So let's take a look at both vehicles side by side. Dimension The BMP-3M, or U, is an upgraded infantry fighting vehicle that has incorporated feedback from global deployment of the BMP-3 IFE. First developed in the early 1980s, the BMP-3 has an advanced firepower, mobility, and protection, making it one of the best IFVs in the world. However, the unit cost of the BMP-3 is not specified. The Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, on the other hand, was introduced to the U.S. Army in 1981 and has undergone several significant upgrades, with the M2A4 being issued to the first operational unit in 2022. The M2 Bradley costs around $3 million per unit. The BMP3 and M2 Bradley have different dimensions, with the BMP3 being longer and narrower than the M2 Bradley. The BMP-3 has a length of 23.4 feet and a width of 10.49 feet, while the M2 Bradley measures 21.48 feet in length and 11.81 feet in width. In terms of height, the BMP-3 is shorter than the M2 Bradley, with a height of 7.87 feet compared to the M2 Bradley's height of 9.77 feet. The BMP-3 weighs 18.7 tons, while the M2 Bradley weighs 27.6 tons. The BMP-3 can accommodate three crew members and seven passengers, whereas the M2 Bradley has space for three crew members and six passengers. The true compartment of the Bradley is more ergonomic due to the front engine, while the BMP-3 has forced dismounting through roof hatches above the engine. However, neither vehicle is primarily designed for transporting infantry, according to combat experience. Firepower and Protection the BMP-3's primary weapon is a 100mm 2A70 semi-automatic rifled gun. This gun is capable of causing fatal damage to vehicles like the Bradley and other vehicles that lack an active protection system. In addition to the main armament, the BMP-3 has a Bakshayu combat module that includes a 30mm 2A72 automatic gun that is stabilized in two axes and can fire three U or six and three U or eight rounds. The ammunition load for the gun is 500 armor-piercing ammunition or high-explosive fragmentation rounds, and the rate of fire is more than 300 rounds per minute. The BMP-3 also has a coaxial machine gun, the sudden 62mm Pekki, and two ball machine guns, both of which are 762mm. For protection, the vehicle features a Stora 1 protection system and an explosive reactive armor kit that protect it from anti-tank guided missiles and anti-tank hollow charge projectiles. In contrast, the M2 Bradley is fitted with a 25mm dual-fed Bushmaster chain gun that fires sub-caliber M919 armor-piercing fin, stabilized discarding sabotage rounds containing a depleted uranium core. The gun is stabilized in two planes and can rotate at a speed of up to 60 degrees per second and can fire 900 rounds. The 25mm M242 cannon can hit the BMP-1 and 2 from any distance and projection, and M919 subcaliber projectiles with depleted uranium cores can penetrate over 70mm of homogeneous armor. Moreover, the M2 Bradley provides greater protection than other IFVs. This is due to its new generation explosive reactive armor and resistance to RPG and 30mm armor piercing rounds in its front arc. All round protection is likely to be against 14.5mm armor piercing rounds. The 30mm armor piercing shells used by the two A72 BMP3 cannons are unable to penetrate the frontal armor of the Bradley at a distance of 1,640 yards. This is not surprising since the American Bradley has received much upgrade, resulting in superior technical performance. It is highly likely that the vehicles equipped with the Bradley Reactive Armor Tile Dynamic Protection System will also be sent to Ukraine. This system includes protective blocks mounted on the hull and turret. In terms of anti-tank capabilities, 
The M2 Bradley is equipped with two TOW-2 anti-tank missiles, which have the ability to penetrate tank armor as well as light armored vehicles. The overhead protection would be very useful. The operator can launch the missile from the armored turret without leaving their position. Similarly, the Russian BMP-3 also has the ability to launch anti-tank guided missiles, but through the barrel of a 100mm gun launcher, specifically the 9K-116 Castet series missiles. The BMP-3 can fire either three UOF high-explosive fragmentation rounds or three UBK-10 anti-tank guided missiles. The effective range for the high-explosive fragmentation round is 4,374 yards, and the muzzle velocity is 250 meters per second. The automatic loader can carry 22 high-explosive fragmentation rounds, with a total ammunition load of 40 rounds. The rate of fire is 10 rounds per minute. The gun can also fire the 3 UBK-10 anti-tank guided missile, which has a range of 109 yards to 4,327 yards, and can engage tanks with explosive reactive armor and slow low-flying targets such as helicopters. The ammunition load for the missile is 8 rounds, and the hit probability is at least 0.8, with armor penetration of 600 mm. Also, despite the advantages of the Bradley, the BMP-3 is still capable of withstanding a head-on attack from Bradley's 25mm cannon, except for the M919 uranium scrap round. Engine The BMP-3 is powered by a UTT-29M diesel engine with 500 horsepower. It has a maximum speed of 45 miles per hour on the road and can travel up to 373 miles, Meanwhile, the M2 Bradley runs on a Cummins VTA 900 and 3T 8-cylinder engine with 600 horsepower, making it travel up to 35 miles per hour. It can traverse water using a swim barrier as well as inflatable buoyancy tanks and spins its tracks. The M2 A4 model, which has been recently introduced to the U.S. Army, even comes with a more powerful engine, enhanced transmission, and a higher ground clearance of 510 mm as compared to the previous version's 380 mm. However, the BMP-3 surpasses the Bradley in terms of mobility, with a specific power of 26.7 liters per second per ton compared to the Bradley's 21.7 liters per second per ton. Communication Capabilities the BMP-3's fire control system is automatic, with a manual override for both the gunner and the commander. It includes a 1V539 ballistic computer, a 2E52 electromechanical armament stabilizer, and a 1D16 laser rangefinder. The gunner has a 1K132 main sight, which is a combined image-intensified day-slash-night sight, as well as a PPD-1 standby day sight. The commander has a 1PZ10 day sight, and a TKN3 combined day and image-intensified night sight. The Nelmet Thermal Sight, developed by the French company SAGEM in partnership with Kurgan Nashavad and Pelling of Belarus, is also available for the BMP-3. The American Bradley M2, a 3 version showcased in 2010, appears to have superior communication capabilities when compared to its counterpart, the BMP-3. This is because the Bradley is equipped with a fully digital control system, similar to the one found on the M1, a2 Abrams, including target tracking. Additionally, the Bradley serves not only as a weapon or a safe transport for personnel, but also as a command center responsible for combat reconnaissance and target designation for the infantry unit, thanks to the FBCP2 data system. Furthermore, the most recent version of the M2 Bradley vehicle incorporates the Iron Fist light decoupled system, which employs optical sensors, radar, and lightweight explosive projectiles to intercept and counter-launch against incoming airborne threats like missiles. In brief, it seems that the Russian BMP-3 is the most formidable opponent for the Bradley. But what do you think? Drop your comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching.